Hello, everybody. I have an idea to share with all of you that is going to revolutionize the world. It is going to be the next big web app, something that has never been done before. Sharing photos of cats on the internet. Thank you, thank you. Pretty novel, right? So as you can see, I started designing an interface. And then I looked into hosting my website, and I started to realize that keeping a website running can get pretty expensive. So I've been looking into ways to offset that cost, and maybe even make a little extra on the side. First, I figured if I want to make money online, I have to sell something, right? And while I later realized that's not exactly true, <laughs> surely everyone loves cats, right? And some people would probably want to buy merchandise with photos of cats on them. Plus, I can sell those shirts and mugs and posters for a lot more than it costs me to make them, making a tight profit of the process. But then, I have to deal with inventory and shipping and manufacturing and who has time for all that. So then, I figured if everyone loves cats so much, which I think we do, surely there'd be enough people willing to donate a little bit of money every now and then to help keep the site running. I mean, if everyone in this room just gave the price of a cup of catnip, we could keep the site running for a whole year. The only issue is, that's not very stable. I would never know how long I could keep that site running on just those donations. But then, the other day, I was watching one of my favorite Minecraft YouTube videos, when I noticed in the description, there were these links where you could buy products. And they called them affiliate links. So I looked it up, and sure enough, now that companies can track where their buyers come from, they can give you money for the buyers that you send their way. The internet is a pretty marvelous thing, isn't it? So, I figure I can get some companies to give me those affiliate links, and maybe even some exclusive discounts that I can post on my site so that users are attracted to my site for those deals. However, this isn't really that stable either. So then, I figure I can cut those links and just be sponsored by a large corporation. Surely there's some big company who's willing to share a portion of those hosting costs in return for a big banner of a sponsored by Catmart or something like that. Getting money from a large corporation is just about as stable as it can get. But I started to worry, since that sort of a general sponsorship can start to take over the site making it more about that sponsor than about the content as a whole. Plus, people generally like looking at photos of cats less when they're accompanied by a message from a large corporation. But then I figured instead I could make just some content that's sponsored by companies. Maybe I would post an article about a proper diet for kittens, sponsored by a cat food company, of course. Or I could only uh, include photos of a specific brand of cat toy in the fe featured photo section for a week. I can negotiate deals to have this sort of sponsored content regularly, or just every once in a while, whenever a little mittens needs a new collar. Either way, I have a pretty reliable source of income. However, I have to be really careful to mark that sponsored content as such and to separate it from the rest of the content, or else I risk losing users' trust. One mistake like that, and no one will look at my cat photos ever again. <laughs> but then, I started thinking a little bit outside the box. So, <laughs> I've got this friend. Bear with me. I've got this friend who's making a game where you're a cat, and there are these mice, and you have to try to catch the mice. It's all very complicated. But my, that friend, he wants to sponsor my brand and license it, or excuse me, he wants to license my brand for that game. So he wants to get or the rights to use my brand in return for giving me a bit of money. So without any extra effort on my part, my brand recognition alone can turn into a source of revenue. The only 
only issue there is this too can seem a little bit like selling out. I probably lose some users in the process. So I decide to go full 21st century mining Bitcoin. <laughs> Not me personally, but the users of my site. Every time a user would look at a cat photo on my website, a script would run in the background on their computer using just a little bit of its processing power to mine Bitcoin or some other cryptocurrency, and then send the profits back to me. Well, if my users weren't already alienated by the brand deal to the sponsorships, this should drive the rest of them away. Now, there's not really an issue with as long as the users are aware of and consent to the mining. But a lot of users simply aren't going to want their computers worn down that way or to use their electricity costs for this. Plus, most websites just don't inform users properly that this is going on, and that really betrays user trust. But speaking of betraying users' trust, I remember this other way. It seems like everybody seems to be making their money these days. Dat collection. Simply by adding a few social media buttons, inserting a few tracking scripts, and signing away my users' privacy, I can start seeing the money roll in. Then, I just, uh, or I don't even have to worry about those new GDPR regulations, since I'm not storing most of that data myself. I just have to add a nearly impossible to read privacy policy, and legally, I'm pretty much set. Then I just keep those scripts running, maybe send over a few of my corresponding server logs, and just keep watching that money roll on in. Seems like Patches is going to get some new cat toys after all. Those ads. Or I don't even really risk losing, excuse me, I don't risk losing any users from this either. So pretty much all of the websites that a person would be looking at these days are going to do the exact same thing. Most people have just become numb to that sort of tracking. Well, at this point, I've pretty much sold my soul. So let's go all the way. It's advertising time. <laughs> Text ads, sound ads, video ads, pop-ups, banners, you name it. There's always some company. Thank you. There's always some company that's willing to pay handsomely for the attention of interested users. Plus, thanks to that tracking that my site does, along with pretty much every other site on the internet, those advertisers can target their messages to exactly the audience they want to. Those advertisers know more about you and your cats and even your closest friends. They're not always safe with that information. They may not use it for what we think they do. And certainly, they have more of it than we could possibly imagine. But very likely, you've heard all of this before, or most of it at least. You've heard of the fear-mongering about Facebook and Google and the Chinese government. Very likely, you still don't care. So let's take a look at this from another perspective, with some oft-ignored numbers. One of the most important considerations for companies making money on the web is called Average Revenue Per User, or ARPU. This represents the monetary value of you in the eyes of that corporation. Now, all the following figures are going to be in dollars per month. That means that those companies would make the exact same amount of money if they dropped all their other revenue streams and just charged their users that much money per month, sort of like Netflix does. Around the world, Google sits right about $11 per user per month. In the US, that goes up to $21. Facebook, well, around the world, they're at just 2 In the US, that goes up to 9 Spotify, well, they average out around $5, which might help explain some of those recent scandals with artist commissions. And BuzzFeed, well, BuzzFeed's at just about 25 cents. Poor BuzzFeed. <laughs> so now that we have some more information 
about how much those companies value us. We can take a look at the last way I'll be talking about for my cat photo website to make some money. Charging my users. Whether I keep some of the content free and just save the really good stuff for paying customers. Or I keep all of my content behind a paywall. I'll have a relatively stable source of income with no external strings attached. The main issue with this, however, are the users. Most people are so used to getting this sort of content seemingly for free that we're often or unwilling to pay for it. And that's where all of us, the users of the internet, come in. Think back to how much those big companies value you. And then think about how much you value your own privacy. Think about your data privacy sort of like your credit score. Especially a lot of you in the audience here, you probably don't care much about your credit score right now. But once something happens, and you can't even exactly be sure why, you're probably going to start to care a whole lot more once it's already too late. Always consider the hidden costs that you may not even be able to know you're paying. And balance that with how much you value yourself. Thank you.